time since we of the folk have been seen in such as ye, be ye an outcast from above or an outsider? I'm attempting to rescue a kidnapped girl. I heard of such a thing. The abyss isn't a safe place these days, I tell ye. Perhaps some other of the folk might know more about that. Is there anything I can help ye with? Canst thou let me through the portcullis? Very well, ye seem a re reliable sort. Just mind your manners, and ye can have no trouble with the folk. Now, before ye meet the rest of the clan, is there anything else ye be wanting? I'd like to trade with you. Let's see what you got. Erg. I'm fine, they're not barred any further. Farewell. Very well. Didn't save. <laughs> hey, we got the part color, so it'll open now. So we can move freely again. Where are we exactly? Okay. A little bit more to explore in here. all is in here. Yeah, I should definitely save soon, though. Is this the one again? Supply room, please. Partake freely. Oh. Well then. Partake freely if you have the key. Well, this has worked for most of the doors here. Unlocks the lock. See a sturdy barrel. An urn with a shield in it. A worn buckler. Another bedroll in case you didn't get one already. Oh my, look at all the stuff that came out of you. And how about you guys? Oh nice, some food. Some more weaponry and a torch. Nice, 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 nice. Um... Oh, so, do you need to play Underworld 1 before 2? Uh... There's not a lot of connections or references in 2 compared to 1, but what you do need to play for 2, from what I understand, to understand it a little bit better, is you need to have played Ultima 7. Because there's a lot of tie-ins between those two, uh, Underworld 2 and uh, Ultima 7. Um, it's supposed to take place be between uh, regular Ultima 7 and Ultima 7 The Serpent Isles. because uh, the big bad of uh, Ultima Underworld 2, or at least the guy who causes the stuff that happens at the beginning of the story, is a, the main mover and shaker of the previous Ultima 7 game. Two, two day-old pieces of meat. My pieces of corn. Two pieces of corn. Uh, currently, yes, I am playing Ultima Underworld 1. And for Ultima Underworld 1, you need, like, very basic knowledge of Ultima. Like, uh, essentially, th as the title suggests, we are inside of what is known as the Stygian Abyss. Um, you first make contact with the Stygian Abyss in Part 3. Uh, part 4 is all about making the religion that the surface dwellers now practice, and you become known as the Avatar at that point. 
I'm trying to remember what part five was. Part five was kind of an in-between story that just filled in time, and then part six is the one part you really need to have before this because uh, essentially, I believe it's the big bad of this one is sealed in a room with the codex, which is a big point of the previous parts of four, five, and six. Oh gosh! But uh, uh, if you if you want to, there are reviews out there. Uh, you can probably find out most of what you need through those if you really are curious as to what went on with the plot before that. <laughs> Dang, you shouldn't really Ultima. Yeah, I've, I've watched some very good reviewers, so I know the basic plot line as it goes through. Up until 9, where I shake my head. Um, but uh, most of the Ultima games are pretty good outside of maybe like clunky UIs. It's too heavy for me to pick up. Shite. There's so much stuff in here. At least, at least as far as I'm aware in the Ultima games, stuff doesn't travel. It usually sits still. Yeah, save. Make sure that it doesn't walk. Um, but yeah, you don't, like I said, you don't need to know everything for Underworld 1 to appreciate, but uh, rudimentary, like, at least reviewer knowledge would help. Is this the other one we were looking at earlier? Oh, I thought there was a note on the wall. Don't see anything now. I see a sturdy door. Locked. Well, there's a key for that. Incense. More corn. Some more boots. Cauldron is empty. Shoot. Both of them. Don't. Someone's already looted this room. <laughs> Oh, hi. Quarters of Cordby. check to see if there are magic boots. That's actually a good point. Should actually have a closer look and see what those boots were. Anything particular? Just serviceable leather boots. Our Corby is, he leaves his door unlocked. Oh. Hello. Has thou come to add to my torment? Of course not. What does... Of what torment does thou speak? Why, the torment of lost hopes, of disillusionment. Tell me more. I shared the great dream of Sir Cerberus, uh, that the Avatar's way would be pursued by all folk. We sought to gather all intelligent species here in the Abyss and teach them to live in harmony. Alas, it is not to be. The constant bickering provided, proved too much for our kindly Cerberus. 
Cabrius, and he has perished in his sleep. Some said he was poisoned, but I know he died of a broken spirit. His life's work was in his in this place, and as he watched it crumble, his heart broke as well. Sorry to hear that. Does that uh, not remain of this dream? I'm sorry to hear that. Does Ott remain of his dream? Well, I, Sir Cabrius, did gather a number of artifacts with interesting properties. He thought the use of these artifacts might assist the colonists as they pursued the way of the Avatar. Unfortunately, the objects were misused by the folk he hoped to help. The talismans! Wait, you meant my boots I'm wearing? I, uh, I'll look into it. Uh, how so? Each of the eight items gathered by Sir Cabrius embodied one of the virtues, but those who now possess the items keep them nearby for their intrinsic value, not for their higher purpose. A pity, but not nothing can be done about it now. Then I shall find these artifacts and put them to proper use. Now we have learned of the artifacts. Woohoo! Plot advancement! <laughs> uh, no, we looked at those boots that were in the ground, Vixie. They weren't anything special, and I don't think mine are either. Although, I'm trying to remember, did I actually put them away somewhere? Yeah, I put them in here. Just serviceable leather boots. And serviceable chain boots. No, nothing I've gotten so far has been magical, and those are the only pair of chain boots I've seen in the game so far, so I'm fine with doing away with a little bit of money so I can get my hands on them. Seems to be someone else in here. Let's have a look. Mundor, there's the one that we first saw. Are th is this door unlocked as well? Looks to be. Mundor seems to be another dwarf. Save game. Yo. Hey, you must be Avatar of whom I've heard. What can I do for ye? I'm searching for a kidnapped girl. I'm questing to for, to uh, eradicate evil in the abyss. I seek information. I see, uh, yeah, I'm searching for a kidnapped girl. Terror ain't it? I hear a troll carried her below. I hope all turns out well for ye. Up here, we have enough problems of our own. Is there any way that you can help me? Ah, Shark, we may be the one ye want. A smith he is, and knowledgeable in the ways of workings of the trade in the world. King Goldthirst ye should seek out too, if you wish to gain his favor. I may be able to offer, offer my services in return. Maybe ye can help us. Our mines in the southeast have been invaded by a fearsome beast, floating in the air with many tentacles. If you can defeat it, all mountain folk would be entirely grateful. I'd like to trade with thee first. Let's see what you got. Oh, more of the same boots. Farewell. Goodbye, and good luck to you.
was the top right thing? Oh, that was the uh, that was the chain hood that I've already got one of from defeating the skeleton earlier. Uh, I think that's most of the area explored. I didn't explore the middle a lot, but that's mostly fountain. Trying to figure out a way to get to that monster without getting myself killed. I guess there's only all the one other pathway left for me to go explore. And actually, I think we are running out of time for this week pretty quickly here, so I'm going to get towards the center here. And that's where we're going to park for tonight. Here we are. Alright. So that's where I'm going to have to call it for tonight. Thank you everybody that's been visiting. Thank you, uh, Vixie, and again, uh, Art3, uh, again, I'm not sure how you want your name pronounced, but Art, and uh, thank you, uh, Vixie, for joining me tonight. Uh, if you all want to join these and other people in my chat, you can always uh, follow on my tweet, on my Twitch. Uh, you can also subscribe to my Twitch uh, streaming now as I have a subscribe button. Uh, VXC's been hitting it every now and again. Um, also, if you're watching on YouTube, you can also help out through donations to either PayPal or Streamlabs to, uh, if you wish to uh, help finance the shows that are coming to you for free because YouTube can't be bothered to give me ads that actually pay me. Um, but uh, that's going to be it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're also watching on YouTube, uh, and also comment below. Comments also help traffic. And that's going to be it for this weekend for Ultima Underworld. I will see you all next week for some more Underworld, and uh, tomorrow night is going to be uh, Lord of the Rings Online, and a little in a little while later tonight we're going to uh, start our Unearthly Podcast. We are going to be talking about a big finished story featuring the fourth doctor, and we'll be reviewing uh, our giving our final opinions at least on the both halves of the story and how we felt it went. But that's it for now. Thank you all again, and have a good night.